Hey guys and welcome back to another follow-up video about the Terramaster F2 Nash 2 and on this particular video we are going to check the speeds of this particular Nash so if you are into that just stay tuned and I'll see you in a few seconds And we are back. So we are going to perform this test in four different scenarios being single disk, the first one, which will see how our two drives as two independent drives. So you can write on each other. And the second test will be on JBOD, which will make a virtual disk with those two disks appearing on our computers as only one, which is a bit risky scenario because if we lose one drive, we will lose all the data on both drives. Then we will see RAID 1 speeds, which will make two uh, drives redundant. So if you lose one, this is the most safe for NAS environment. If you lose one, you still get all the data from the other one and you can just remove one and place a new one and it will copy all your data there so there's no uh, risk or much less risk there and finally we will see on the RAID 0 which will stripe both uh, drives and will be theoretically faster but will be dangerous because if you lose data once again on one of the drives you will lose all your data so without wasting much of your time the results are that all across the four, which a bit, it's a bit surprising for me, the speeds were uh, very similar, not to say almost the same. So on single disk, we got around 30 megabytes of read and 30 megabytes of write. And I did perform two tests, one with single, with the Blackmagic, uh, Blackmagic Design speed test and the other one transferring a file from my SSD to the NAS itself. And as you can see on screen, there's about 30, 30 megabytes on read and write. On JBOD, we had the same situation. And in here, I was not surprised. So we, after making the test on single disk speed, the JBOD, I was not surprised at all because the, the type of situation is almost the same. So we got 30 megabytes on read and 30 megabytes on write, roughly. And then we went to RAID 1. And on RAID 1, once again, performing the same test with Blackmagic speed test and the transferring file to, to from my SSD to the drive, as you can see, we got once again roughly 30 megabytes on reads and 30 megabytes on writes. So no changes here. And finally, we went to RAID 0, which is the most risky. And in here, to be honest, I was expecting to be a bit faster, but no, we got roughly 30 to 35 megabytes, both on read and write, which uh, it was a bit surprising for me. I was expecting, at least on RAID 0, a bit faster. Now, these were the, the, the speeds that we got from this NASH. And my conclusion on this particular video is, this is not the fastest NASH available on the market or available that I've tried so far. And by, but on the other hand, it's not the slowest either. So these speeds are, in my opinion, the acceptable speeds for this type of device. Now, lower than this, um, I don't think it would be useful, but uh, above 30 megabytes per second, we get a nice experience, especially if you are considering a storage device like a NAS, which you will not be working directly with the files that you have there on either NAS from any uh, brand, at least that I know of at the point of recording this video. So on conclusion, this is the acceptable speeds. And for those that have been asking on the channel, if this is a great uh, NAS for multimedia streamings for your uh, Android TV boxes and similar devices. It is a great um, device because I've been using one similar with the same speeds and the experience that I have. It's a pleasant uh, experience transcoding and um, sending MKV files on 180p to all my TVs and the Nash doesn't have any problem. So not being the fastest, not being the slowest, these are the speeds that this device have. So 
you guys will make a conclusion if it's worth it for you or not regarding this particular test which is the speed test hope you enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one